CEO of the Synagogue. Okay, could you tell our viewers your name and what you do in the company? Okay. My name is Fritz Israel. I'm the CEO of a company that's called AGI Laboratory. We're a United States based company that uh, over the last 10 years we have developed, my team has developed artificial intelligence that's not based on large language models but instead uses cognitive architecture, functioning cognitive architecture and uh, graph databases to uh, process requests. And it basically functions much more like uh, human thinking, human learning than a large language model do. So our system is not large language model based, but our system is based on the cognitive architecture, but it uses large language models as tools as part of a, as a tool for communication. Okay. And could you explain a little bit more about your education? Because I um, beside my hat as a CEO of uh, AGI Laboratory, I'm also the director and owner of a, a local adult education institute in Aruba. Aruba is a very small island country next to the coast of Venezuela. And our, our economy is 85% plus based on tourism. And about eight years ago, I recognized that the level of service and the level of education that of the people that were working in, in tourism or in on the island was uh, could use some help so i took over the company that, that already was existent in my effort to contribute to a low low barrier adult education for a lot of people are working in tourism are working in the in the field without a formal education so we believed that that was important but the preparation for most of the people is that they're not very, not always as digitally literate that they are able to only do online classes. So our focus is really on providing classes in group format in, in the classroom to focus on practical tips and practical skills for people to use on the work floor. So what you learn today, you can apply tomorrow. Education, uh, education for the for, for adults. Adults. Yeah. It's all adults. It's all adults. It's all adults. And do you teach? What about robots? Mm -hmm. at, at this moment, uh, I, as our economy is based on tourism, the biggest part are uh, of courses that we do are based on the service industry. Um, now that I'm in, involved in artificial intelligence, I will definitely make sure that people start getting aware of it. Um, our government is doing a pretty decent job with providing access to information about um, robotics, artificial intelligence, uh, more of the technical fields, especially focused towards the, the late teens, early 20s, for people to, to start thinking about the future that they might have if certain jobs are being, take, being taken over by artificial intelligence. So, uh, what do you see your organization in five years? What are you going to do? Uh, for, for the education part or for the... For both. Uh, in five years, we, be, we will probably have reached an artificial intelligence that is reliable, trustworthy, and transparent, that will find its way in various applications. We are thinking, starting with, if we want to reach as many people as possible and help as many people as possible, if we can provide support to governments in getting better, more accurate, more recent information, on the, the complex decisions they have to make for the population, for the economy, then that's going to be a, a major improvement. But we also believe that this type of technology will be able to help different industries, amongst others like the medical industry, to explore data, to explore medical reports, to find 
anomalies in one report, but that might signal a certain trend towards more broader um, innovations and broader discoveries in the field of health medics. In regards to the education field, education will slowly be get more towards online education um, and I think that the trick will probably be is to find a hybrid method for people to li listen and look at people but also to have better interaction. With the right technology people will be able to ask questions during an online class without it disturbing others and as such be able to get those specific questions answered. So I strongly believe that uh, the education will be held by any artificial intelligence improvements that are that is reliable and that is uh, personally focused on the improvement of each individual that's trying to take those lessons. If you have to cooperate with the Korean sort of education companies or organizations, what can you offer or what kind of program do you think of having with them? I th from the educational field, it is difficult for me to estimate what the needs are of the of the Korean population and for the area. I'm talking, and my market is minute. It's, in total, our island has 110,000 people living there, and I'm really focused on helping them on a very personalized basis getting somewhere. If there's information or if there's, there's courses that we have that are of your interest, we'd definitely be interested in doing it. On the other hand, if I look, put my head on as a CEO of an AI company, I think transparent, reliable, efficient artificial intelligence can be scaled out to support individual teaching and individual learning for any population, any country. Uh, an AI can speak any language you want it to speak. And an AI can adjust to the needs and the, the cultural differences between the different countries, different cultures, different regions. And I think that would make them, in combination with the, the, the in-person support from locals, to be able to give people the, the, the tools and the needs to address the needs of the market, but also to address the interests of each individual person. I strongly believe that the best education is done by addressing the interests of each individual. And by addressing those interests, I think you can uh, branch out to support the knowledge, support the needs. If you want to start a business and you don't like mathematics, then at a certain moment, if you're interested in business, then you need to realize that if you can't calculate how much profit you made, you might not have a business for long. If you're starting a business and you realize that you don't like to work with people, you need to realize if you want to grow, you need people, so you need human resource management. So by focusing on the interest of, of a uh, person who's learning, you can start by using artificial intelligence, especially artificial general intelligence, you can start adding elements and making aware that their learning doesn't stop purely on becoming a plumber, but if you want to become a plumber as your business, then you need to add personal skills, you need marketing skills, you need um, accounting skills, and all those things, if they help you in addressing the needs of your interest, then learning it is not, a, is not a punishment, learning it is a benefit. And I, I believe that uh, AI will help us improve on giving the tools and the knowledge to the people to advance in the direction that they prefer to advance in. Thank you very much. You're very